out go Kavanagh and Wood, and in come Murray and Inman. The full Halifax lineup is Woodburn Hall at fullback, Wamsley, Tibbs, McComb, and Salton Stall, the rest of the back five. The key halfbacks for Halifax, Dufre and Keys, they're the ones who'll make it all tick for the Panthers if they're going to get any success tonight. Colcott, Moore, and Murray up front, Lannan, G, and Fairbank. As we said, Inman's on the bench with Doro, Tangata, and Laroya. Four changes for the Saints, four big name players out in Roby Lee, Surinan, and Louis McCarthy, Scarsbrook, but four big names come in, Matautia, Parsi, Kus, uh, Kusak and Knowles and the full lineup will be Wellsby at fullback, Makinson, Hopoati, Davis and Ritson, Lomax and Dodd in the halves. Up front, big Alex Wormsley, Joey Lussick, as we've said, Morgan Knowles returns, Matauti at Bachelor and Bell, a bench of Benison, Parsi, Wingfield and Delaney. And we'll maybe get back to analysis that in a minute. This still at Saints on the attack, still inside the 10. Dodd throws the dummy. Dodd tries to get away from that left edge defender. He can't do so. And Matichi just about hangs on. But Saints again, still knocking on the door. Lusick does well. Lusick does best. He's over the try. There's no doubt this time. Lusick's got the ball down. We are going to go to the big screen. I'm very, very confident we can see that from here. TRY for mine every day of the week. Jody, would you agree with me? Yeah, it looked so. That one looked like a much easier decision, didn't it, for the, for the referee there? And... I think Lussick's definitely grabbed himself a try on that one. Yeah, so we'll see what the video ref's got to say. So it's tackle four, and we've got a live decision of no try, so we'll just confirm whether the ball gets to the line or not. OK, so Lussick is in possession of the ball. And the ball is on the line. Thank you, I have a decision. So here comes the decision, T.R.Y. given by the referee. Cheering the team on, Lussek jumps out, now to big Alex, Alex tries to wrestle his way over. Again, the defence is good, this time it's Tangata, who's the first man involved. Lussek has pinched one, gets the pass away to Wigfield, has Wigfield got over the line? The referee again, looks like he's going to go to the big screen. I don't think there's any chance whatsoever that he hasn't got the ball down. Jake Wigfield, a big, big player for Saints, coming through the ranks. He's going to be a good player, he is a good player, and has he got this down? Let's see what the video ref says about it. It's tackle three, we've got a live decision of a try, we're just confirming grounding. So he's in possession of the ball, he just needs to get it to the ground. Thank you, I've made a decision. Here comes the decision, referee I'm sure will be given this one, one look, waves the try, it is a try, Saints double their lead, they'll lead eight points to nil, Jack Wingfield with the try, Jody. But they've just done too much defending down the wrong end of the field and Wingfield's on a chance, he gets a ball away. Yeah, he does indeed, and the dummy to Morgan Knowles, Morgan Knowles, the referee's going to say was tackled, so he's going to sprint back and play the ball, but... It's almost like King Canute now, isn't it? Halifax wave and wave oh. of defence. Great ball by Wellesley. Makinson down, steps inside. Makinson for the line, still going. Is he over the line? He's over the line. Is the referee going to go to the big screen for the fourth time? No, he's not. This time he's confident that Tommy Makinson's got the ball down in the corner. Super pass from the fullback, Wellesley. Saints increase their lead. Back to back tries. It's Halifax nil. Saints 14. Yeah, and a quality, quality ball on the end of it. Absolutely world class. But it all started through the break at the middle of the field. Morgan Knowles with a sort soft pass, but on the next play, it gets the ball to Wellsby. He sees that it's a three on two. Auckland Walmsley far too tight, loses sight of his opposite winger. That pass there, well, that's a peach. Tommy Makinson, one of the best finishes in the game. Halifax screaming for numbers to get to their left hand side. Do Saints go to their right? You bet they do. Dodd. Out the back it goes to Wellsby. Wellsby runs across laterally, then straightens oh, up the big man yeah. through the back. Too big, too strong, and too good, Kyler Moore. Brilliant. He's in at the corner, brilliant from the full-back. That's game over for me, it's Halifax nil, Saints 20. We've been playing two and a half minutes of the second half. For our via player viewers at home, this is a special, special player that you're watching there. 22-year-old Jack Wellsby, and he's won it all. But just watch the work he does there, he just glides so gracefully along this field. Lewis Dodd releases him, he's able to skip and show, promote the ball, and just knows how to finish. I'll say it again, a real quality, quality player, all execution and all class. Bell will jump into dummy half, everything to his right, but he picks up and tries to pinch one from dummy half to his left. Hasn't got the, probably that low driven power that Lussek has, but he's almost to the line. Does Lussek repeat the opportunity? You bet yeah. he does. You bet he does. That was so obvious. We could see it from up here, Jody. and a really big gap to go to. Lussek gets his second try. 24 points to nil. 
Saints lead, as I said, Lussick with a little dive over from Dummy Howe. Yeah, I've got nothing but good things to say about James Bell and his work rate and how he's performed this season in a St Helens shirt, but he possibly went for the try line then when it wasn't quite on. But what he did do was engage multiple defenders. We've got three, four Halifax defenders in the mix there, two of which are still on the floor when he plays that ball. With Benison dropping back to that full-back role, that was a really slow play of the ball to Jeffrey. Gets a pass away and into a big hole. Here's the opportunity to the line. They are going to get what they deserve. Fair bank under the force. Brilliant player from Halifax. Matty G with the break. On the inside is Fairbank. And look at that crowd, Jordy. The Halifax fans behind there are going absolutely bonkers. Yeah, they're enjoying that one, aren't they? And, and so they should. They absolutely ripped Saints apart there. And, you know, we saw Jack Wells be coming back gingerly and he'd been down from that contact he tried to make on him then. and then actually they took it they, they tried and they had a little bit of patience there and again it was Louis Jeffrey who takes it to the line and delivers a brilliant pass there to Matty G in acres of space who has the composure there to just find Fairbank on the inside he wasn't switched off we talk about fatigue Kyle and he wasn't fatigued there he was getting under for that try no it was a beautiful line from him well timed as well to the left hand side they'll go Inman throws oh. it Oh, that was a bad one. That was a bad one, and they're all in there now, aren't they? And you know, I think it was. I think it was Wellsby. I think it was Wellsby who was that first contact in. I think it was Morgan Knowles, Doc. Is it Morgan he Knowles? He does everything yeah. right from market. Chases after. He always looks to go for contact. It's the way he's always played the game. Very well, interesting to see what comes of this because the reaction tells you everything. It's to, it, it, the intent's right, the intent is right, it's to go and put pressure on a ball player, but he times that all wrong, and it's, it's such a shame that he play, he always plays the game just on that line of now. intensity and aggression, and it's the last thing he will have wanted, and the last thing Paul Willans will have wanted on his Too return game after already sitting on the sidelines for five games. It looks like that could be another one that has him sitting on the sidelines again, Kyle. <sighs> It's very, oh, look, it is difficult. To, it's think, difficult to defend him. Look, we have to be honest, and 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 it's just there when Ingman just steps hard. He knows Morgan knows he's coming, and the first contact, you know, the pitches don't lie. Yeah. That's a red card for me. Uh, I've got a red, I think card. He might be in trouble. I think he could be in trouble. No, it yeah, doesn't matter. Morgan it's the 79th minute. There's That's a red card for me, and we'll see what the referee is going to do. He's going to bring out Morgan Knowles. I think regardless if it's a red or not, he doesn't play next week. That is for sure. Yeah. So let's see what the referee's going to do. He's going into his back pocket. Is it red? Is it yellow? It's red for my money. Yeah. It is a red card. I think that's a right call. And it's you know, just... everything Saints have done right, right tonight. That's 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 going to be the, the Paul Wallace isn't going to be happy about. Look. Unfortunately, the way we play the game now, we just can't get those ones wrong. You absolutely can't. So Morgan Knowles sent off in the dying embers of the game. It's St Helens who march forward into the next round of the of the Bet Fred Challenge Cup. They've got five tries on the evening. Lusick with a with a brace. Wickfield, Makinson, and Wellsby. Three converted by Makinson. 26 points. The try of the night from Halifax. Fairbank scores under the post. Jeffrey, Jeffrey completes the, the kick from under the post. 26 points to six.